For this elimination tattoo, we're going new school. Oh. <laughs> new school's more cartoony pop vibe. You can exaggerate stuff. You can go as crazy as you want. New school tattoos are bold, bright, and include fantastical designs. Good luck. Here we go. This week, you had six hours to complete a new school tattoo. We're testing you on color. Steve, let's start with you. The new school challenge came up, so everybody got to draw really ugly and do really bleh, because it was new school. So it's like, oh, that's OK. I want to see smooth stuff. Some of the shading in the top of her hair and some of the color, it's just not the smoothest that I've seen you do. Because it's not something I do a lot of. If this isn't what you do, then you got to go figure it out and make sure that that tattoo is going to look good. Jamie. She wanted a vagina phoenix. Thankfully, it wasn't exactly how she made it sound. This thing, to me, just looks like a cartoony peacock with a little bit of fire around it. She kind of wanted to stay minimal on the flame. She didn't really blend the yellow and the orange and the red and the flame. On females, I tend to lean towards more pastels just to keep it a little more delicate. Color can be light, but it needs to be saturated in the skin where it's going to stay. Make it banged up. Get it in there. You're just missing that ingredient. Trey? Piston is something that I'm used to doing. I knew that I had to step it up a little bit. You put a lot of heavy blacks to let your color really stand out and be bright. I wish they could have did a little bit more with the fire, maybe to make that come out a little bit more. The tone you use, it didn't look strong, it didn't stand out. I think that's the weakest element of this tattoo. Tattoo baby. This is definitely the best tattoo that we've seen you do so far. My only real criticism is used mostly muted yellows and faded from brown to yellow. There's not any really bright yellow that really pops. I like what you did. You need to do more of this. This is one of the few new school tattoos that I would say I'll wear it. Thank you. K Cutter. He wanted skulls, tiki masks, something, so I tried to combine all of that. You need black somewhere in here if you're going to have such similar colors. What's popping is the red on the outside, but it still kind of gets jumbled in the middle. Some of your lighter colors, where the brown kind of fades to yellow, that it's just kind of scratchy. A lot of the color could have been a lot more solid. Sarah. I knew exactly what I wanted to do. I had everything in my head. You put a lot of white, but you left a lot of skin breaks. So as this thing ages, it's going to age nicely. Even the colors you did that aren't super vibrant, they're done right. The detail, the color, the eyes, the hat. And you're definitely one of the strongest competitors. Clint. My name is Clint Cummings, and that is a Clint Cummings tattoo. I've had my teeth kicked in when it comes to these designs, so this is a breath of fresh air. I wish that you would have put a little bit more thought into placement and try to put that snail out of that crease, because when he bends his head back, that snail's in the fold. Oh, hell. Here we go. And I don't care if you guys kick my teeth in or not. Nobody's here to kick anybody's teeth in. You ran the color. You stepped up. You did your thing. You, you got to stop overthinking. Just maintain your ride. Don't go crazy. Jesse. This is your lane, so this is what we expect. This is a clean, clean, clean tattoo, and you really show off this style. It's a great tattoo. Caricature, style, the nose, to the fine detail in the hair. Definitely one of my favorites of the day. You did a good job. Thank you. Sebastian. Uh, it's a hard act to follow with the new school boys. This tattoo is the worst tattoo I've seen you do. The outline was chewed up. There was cuts in the bottom and the beak. Oh, I haven't really got to go, hey, this is what I do. I want the battle to begin. I do not like this tattoo. Look at that wing. Look at that line. This isn't clean. Lalo. She wanted a mermaid that looked like her. What is her skin color? This mermaid looks like she was trapped in an oil spill. The way I see it is as light reflections, a lot of colors bouncing off the skin. You put all these contrasting colors in there, but somehow have no contrast. My main issues are in the tail. There's just little spots of skin showing through. I have a problem with that because it's a matter of taste. It's not solid color. Saturation is just off. Mark. You went down to the wire with this one. Toughest canvas I've had to work with, and I just tried to make sure I got it done. Once she started moving, I was like, let me just get this in there. It looks banged in. The whole thing's patchy and scratchy, especially up in the door symbol. In my opinion, I'd rather have it looking like that than just completely flat. You're f***ing this up. Nick. Did she want a Sacred Heart? She had 50 other ideas. This is the last thing we had drawn up. 
She was absolutely insane. At times like that, you just have to be able to work with her. It was just crazy. She's just a little off the wall. What's coming out of the heart? Smoke. Smoke? We really think it looks like a used tissue. <laughs> Why would you put magenta around a red heart? I was just under the impression that new school was weird. That's not right. It's done to be done. When you do tattoos, have a rhyme or reason. <sighs> You're f***ing your tattoo up. Unfortunately, someone has to go home. I think this tattoo drops you down a little bit and may put you in that category. Two of you impressed us with your use of color, and two of you did not. Jesse, Sarah, you had the top tattoos of the day. The judges have decided the best tattoo of the day goes to Sarah. Good job, Sarah. You came back, you did exactly what we're looking for. Clean, solid, bold, bright color. Did a great job. Lalo and Nick did not impress the judges with your use of color. That can only mean that you two are in the bottom. The judges have decided. Nick, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. I need you to pack up your machines and go home. Today, Jimmy challenged you to tattoo his specialty, New School, and we're judging color theory. Jimmy, you're up first. It's a wonderful drawing. The line weights are awesome throughout this tattoo, the dynamics, but it's pretty dark. The trick with that heavy black is to let the bright color show. Well, if I was at home, this would have been a tattoo that would have been done in like a three-part session. We've seen so many examples of the picture book perfect New School color theory from you, and this one falls short of what we've seen you do in the past. Clean. This thing's dynamic. The balance that you have here between hot and cold, the little green that you have underneath set off with the turquoises and aqua colors, and even the white that pops off the backside of the head. All great color theory, all great color use. One thing that you can do that a lot of your competitors cannot do is put this much color into this large of an area and have it be this saturated with this little trauma to the skin. Maddie. What exactly did your canvas ask you for? He wanted a little dinosaur kid playing video games in front of a stone TV. Why is the TV not plugged in? Where would I plug it in, you know? It just has no place to go. On the front of the TV, there's an awkward black line that comes out. It wasn't a, a mistake line, if that's what you're asking. It looks like an unfinished line. I was making that little cord for the controller. The TV itself, I'm not a fan of it. Just not as striking, as powerful of an image. Sausage. It's a top-notch tattoo, man. The color saturation is perfect. All these little details you have in the teeth with the different color highlights, even the front fork of the bicycle has those little recessed notches for the axle plates to go through. All tattoos are far from perfect, but this one is pretty close. The little blue outline that you put around this character, it just pops off the skin really well. In a color theory challenge, it's little details like that that really makes this thing awesome. Christian. Your color theory in this, using that purplish and blue and then coming off with that hot yellow and then going back to the green, it's a nice blend. You have the red, which then balances everything out. Aesthetically, it's pleasing. It just doesn't knock New School out of the park. Megan Jean. This tattoo is definitely weird. It's solid, it's bright, but it's hard to read exactly what's going on, especially from a distance. The perspective you chose is weird because you don't see enough of the body to see what's going on. It's hard to read. I wanted that perspective. I think it's tough but interesting. But if you look at depth and the richness and the punch that some of the other tattoos in the room have, you really missed it. Anthony. I like this tattoo. It's a weird thing that she asked for, a purple dinosaur that's a unicorn blowing bubbles, yet I know what it is. This is legible and readable, and it's a solid job, man. Because you stuck to doing one thickness of an outline, the tattoo looks very clean. And in the end, it's a really nicely wearable tattoo. Alex. What's going on with the color that you kind of split this guy in half? It's just a hard light source on the back side of it. It's a little bit weird. Huge head, weird little body. Oh, is that a surfboard down there? Maybe it is. There's a lot of missed opportunity in the water and the background. You fall flat on drawing. For a guy who was at the bottom last week, you need to be drawing a lot harder and stronger. Do you still want to keep pushing in this place or what? Oh yeah, I still want to be here. This is it, man. I, I want to be here. That drawing's got to reflect it. It's not about surviving, it's about winning. St. Mark. 
The color theory on this tattoo, there's not a lot of wow factor. There's some areas of transitions from one color to the next where it's just not really super smooth and blendy. You just didn't capitalize on the color theory of the day. It is pretty weak and patchy in a lot of areas where you really needed to ramp up and you could have used black. It would have been your friend in this. I definitely did take it a little easy on the blacks. I was worried that I was gonna muddy my color up and maybe that was a gamble I, I lost. All right, judges, time to determine who had the best tattoo of the day. Best final product is sausage. Now my vote's for clean. It's just massive. It has everything to it. It's what sausage did and more. I like them both. I like both applications. I think sausage had a little bit more breathability, which appeals to me, so I vote for sausage. The judges have decided the best tattoo of the day goes to sausage. Today, you are being judged on color theory. Based on your work, one of you will be packing your machines. All right, final decision, guys. My least favorite tattoo is Megan Jeans. Megan's got clean technical application, bad drawing. Alex has got questionable drawing, very good application. Mark's got questionable drawing and weak application. Today, I got to pick St. Mark. I don't want to go home with this tattoo, man. Mark, your colors are least attractive of the three. Are you locked in on Megan Jean? I am. I'm locked in on St. Mark. The judges have decided, St. Mark, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. Please pack your machines and close shop. Thanks. Team Nunez, today you had to show artistry by transforming a famous landmark into a new school tattoo. Eric, let's start with you. Overall, your background and the way you played the negative into it works really well for your design. You have some really nice line work, some nice areas here. You have a lot of small, thin parallel lines. I love the juxtaposition of these really bright colors and the primarily black and gray structure gives this building some life. One of the things about making an inanimate landmark new school is to make it become a character, and I think that you hit that. Kevin. The water. It's such a harsh, just unfluid, unliquid, unflattering beginning to this tattoo. Why did you abandon all the good I showed you? A lot of the waves were like super, super detailed, and I didn't know how that would look up against like a super simple drawing. So, the reference. Why did you stop outlining all that rich black outline that's everywhere in the entire body as a perimeter? Just stops, and then everything behind him is not outlined. How does that brain process work? I wanted the wave in the back of his surfboard and the bridge to all be inferred as the background. I abandoned the outline. Your tattoo just looks unfinished. I'm not at all mad about the artistry in this. It was the follow through and the tattooing and the finished look of the tattoo. Kelly. Testing artistry today is where you really shine. This is a great drawing, great illustration. The details are spot on. The way you executed the Coliseum is brilliant. I did morph it a little bit, but I wanted to keep it somewhat true to form and then use other elements to bring in a more new school-y kind of feel. The artistry stands strong. The way that the character fades off before it hits the Coliseum and that color blast comes out, it's a great use of contrast. The details in the musculature of the guy and the skin tone, the scratches in his face, it's great tattooing. Sketchy lawyer. Having to go black and gray color is not really that big of a deficit. Using your own artistry to really create a dynamic image, that is the area in this challenge where you excel. But what's up with her eyes? They were just kind of ghosty, and I didn't really put pupils in there. I shaded off the top and then just put some white highlights in it. You've got this jawline of a beautiful girl and flowing hair, and then you've got these just weird eyes that are on the different plane, pretty out of whack. I don't like the white at all. But I think it looks nice in the nose and the lip. In football practice, he's beating the out of that thing. And looking at who he is, and he's like this everyday downset hike with the sun beating the out of it. Yeah. That's a wrap. Nikki. It's questionable whether people are going to recognize this as a Lincoln Memorial. You've got to force that perspective all the way down so you could show both hands, maybe show more than Memorial. My handicap in this is I've been tattooing for five years. I don't know this style very well. I really dislike the shape of the background. This hard shape patch looks super off. I hate the cupcake frosting hair all the way around the face. What happened? I was struggling a lot with making sure that it wasn't too wacky and too unrecognizable. You're Tito. 
I have a multitude of problems with this drawing. The mouth is completely jacked. It's out of shape. Statue of Liberty, seven points on her crown. You have six. And that last point on the other side of the head, there's no way that point is connected to that crown and the direction that crown is turning. New school, you bend it. It's weird choices. This is where your artistry is falling short. All right, guys, time to determine who had the best tattoo of the day. Eric and Kelly? I agree, those are my top two. If you just compare the quality and the detail in Kelly's Coliseum to the Taj Mahal, really over the top. Eric definitely put his balls on the chopping block and did a load of tiny little straight lines side by side by side by side and just owned it. We're talking about artistry. Kelly had the foresight to plan alcoves and little windows lined in red because this thing is gonna be glowing from the inside. I mean, she drew that figure from scratch. I think that the artistry shows really, really strong. My vote's for Kelly. I'm going with Eric. I'm going for Kelly. The judges have decided that the best tattoo of the day goes to Kelly. Well done. Thank you. Today, you had to tattoo a landmark new school style. And based on your work, one of you will close shop. Judges, time to determine who's going home. Kevin, I do see artistry in the fact that you came up with something creatively and made your landmark and made your little dude and he's new school. I see that as hitting the challenge. Nikki, I don't see the monument. My decision is Tito. Chris? Tito. My vote is also for Tito. The judges have decided. Tito, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. Please pack your machines and close shop. Today, you had to prove your ingenuity. Christian, this challenge was designed to test your weaknesses. Basilica tattoo, you're up first. There's a lot of strong technical aspects to this tattoo. I like the texture and the flow of the hair and the tail. Just because it's a bobblehead and has a little bit of pink on the outline doesn't really make it new school. New school is probably the one thing that we were most afraid of. The drawing itself lacks a little dynamics. You guys are looking for a win. You're not looking for a get by. Try to win everything. Old Town Inc. I love how vibrant the space and the background of this thing is. It's just enough to let you know what's going on. That shows ingenuity. Space is tricky, man. You did it right by leaving a lot of this open skin in the astronaut, so you use that contrast to your benefit. I love the way the tattoo ends. It doesn't end the same way all around, but it just has a very fluid flow. It's a killer tattoo, and I don't have much to complain about. Allegory Arts. It's very new school style, it has a very cartoony look. The platypus has a nice clean outline everywhere. That section of this tattoo looks fantastic. And then everything else on this tattoo just has me like, damn it. Lionhead for me has a ton of problems. Really, really, really rough outlines. The black and pink area of the nose, the outline on that is terrible. You gotta really be mindful of these things, guys, because a good tattoo is still going home. Classic trilogy tattoo. There are clean lines. There's smooth color blends, but man, this drawing is very weird. The main thing that makes a unicorn a unicorn is a horn. You would think you would make that a very standout, noticeable Try feature. Try to, she would not budge off of it. The sidewalk and the unicorn are the same color, and the smoky-like purple background is history in a year. We literally tried to explain everything to her, that we want a tattoo that's gonna last a long time, and she fought us the entire way. Did she uh, pack your bags for you, too? I really expected this challenge to be like you guys have. So did we. It's a bummer. Black Spade Tattoo. Love the drawing. Love the colored palette choices. I love everything but the way you tattooed it. There is not a spot on this thing that is solid. The background, burgundy is not solid. Orange isn't solid. You put all the right stuff and set yourself up for another W. You didn't pull through. Pins and needles. All this light, light skin tone is really, really close to the guy's already there skin tone. As soon as this heals, this thing is gonna be so flat. The outline on the drum set, that right side of that symbol, what happened? Did the guy sneeze? Midline, he'd like switch his body and like rotate his head. You guys are hot or cold. You guys cannot just stay warm. Artistic skin design. Well, guys, I don't think it's the best drawing. If we look at the hand that's playing guitar, no way, no how do any of those fingers make any sense. And the thumb coming from behind the guitar is crazy. 
Not a fan of this tattoo. This blue force field is rough. It's just a sea of washed out color. This tattoo looks 20 years old. You guys have done bright, strong tattoos that look like stickers. This one does not. Bone face ink. The drawing is super challenged. These are just two heads growing out of this little body. This little green guy on the left is totally Jack, man. One eye is round and outside of the bottom of the eyelid, and the other eye is squared off and tucked inside the eyelid. The finished product has a very amateur feel to it. Unkindness art. There's a lot of really great shining effects in this tattoo. The outline throughout is super clean. You have multiple dynamic light sources coming from each direction, and it hits the image all in the right spot. The green glow from the bottom and then the blue glow from the top is intense, and it looks really cool. It definitely shows a lot of ingenuity in drawing this. Thank you. Thank you. OK, guys, time to announce tattoo of the day. In the Old Town tattoo, the way this background was done, that looks really good. I like the really dark background against the light suit. Yeah. That black gives this thing that believable dimension. I'll make it easy. My vote is for Old Town. Old Town it is. <sighs> the judges have decided that the best tattoo of the day goes to Old Town Inc. Today, you had to show ingenuity by tattooing New School. Based on your work, one shop will be packing their machines. For me, Black Spade is readable. It's a new school design. My vote is for Boneface Inc. Boneface Inc. The judges have decided Boneface Inc. You do not have what it takes to be master shop. Please pack your machines and move out. Today, you had to show solid color theory by creating a new school tattoo. Men's team, you're up first. Jason. You got a lot of tricks in this. The color play between the dog and the cat is a smart choice because they both stand clear. The details in the guts of the cat get that really gross texture there. Super cool effect. This is the outlines that we want to see. Use those thick lines to push things and pull things forward. That's a big staple of the new school style. It's using your line weights as a part of the creativity and the design. For the men's team, you stand out today. Thanks, guys. Pond. I really like the color play in this tattoo. The blue and then the subtle fade to the light lavender give the face different textures and different shadows. And I love the way they show the depth and the creepiness of the wrinkles in the eyes. That's the best subtle use of tone manipulation that we see today. Jake. Most of the pizza I eat has crust underneath the entire piece of pizza. It's not just a round log with cheese dripping straight downward. The drawing gets a little bit away from the fact that it's pizza. It becomes pretty much a melting skull. It's tough for somebody immediately to just be like, boom, that's what that is. But it looks clean. I do like a tattoo artist to know if I can draw it. Cam. The design of the spaceship, it's questionable. It could just be some kind of a socket to a light bulb, and the jacket matches the glass. Nothing pops, nothing stands out. What you're missing here, man, is power. What you're missing here is that thick outline. Push this thing forward so the legibility comes to the light. Fine. Go get him, buddy. Wish me luck. It looks like you put the stencil on the dark. You just put the boot right into the other tattoo. Because he had a small arm. Dude, you're telling me that that boot can't move over a quarter of an inch? I know you're in a hurry, but damn. And then we've got that bottom horse hoof. Nobody knows where that foot's coming from. Nobody knows where that foot's going to. It looks like you were like, oh, shit. What am I going to do? Yeah, and I, just, you had to I was come just through. focused on finishing, honestly. This is a tougher outing for you today. Next up is the women's team. Ash, let's start with you. I really like the drawing. I like the design. It's very legible. The color contrast in the background and the blue in the doll is nice. The blue looks smoothly blended. The white is solid. Good job on that. This is fun. Janelle. For the look of this, you do capture a wacky new school kind of look. Your greens are pretty saturated. Your color, it's pretty well in. Overall, your piece has a consistent feel. Thank you. Holly. I like the color play in this tattoo a lot. I really love how smooth the skin tone is. And you've got very smooth, blended colors. You've got a lot of nice tricks in this tattoo. Alexis. Hey. I really like this one. I like this drawing. I like the dynamics of it. I like the leg kicked out. I like the way the hand's holding the cup. You do multiple light sources, so you have the blue to the right side, yellow to the left. Nice tricks. Keep tattooing like this. Thank you. 
Laura. The hat on this thing's really, really nice. That soft black rolls into your darker red, boom, pops right out. I also love the fact that the light seems to be illuminating from the martini, like it's some sort of electric cocktail. Another smooth women's team tattoo. High five me. Danny. Get it, girl. He did a great job with this illustration. Great color theory, great color play. All the elements stand apart because they're colored right. Typically, we're harping on a bolder outline, but because the color looks the way it looks, you kind of get a little bit of a pass on this. This tattoo is really, really good. Good job, girl. Judges, it is time to determine who had the best tattoo of the day. The ladies team killed it the biggest, strongest dive into the overall look of a new school tattoo, I can easily say Alexis did it. My vote's for Alexis. Oh, my god. It's unanimous. <laughs> Judges have decided the best tattoo of the day goes to Alexis. Thank you so we much. Thank you so much. Today, you are being tested on color theory. Based on your work, one of you will be packing your machines. Out of the three, the one that is the hardest for me to read is going to be Jake for drawing errors and that boot hitting that other tattoo. My vote's for Fawn. My vote's for Fawn. The judges have decided, Fawn, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. Please pack your machines and close shop. Today, you had to show your artistry by seamlessly blending new school and black and gray realism into one landmark tattoo. Based on your work, one of you will be packing your machines. Before we get into these critiques, after the tattoo, Katie started to not feel well and had to leave. Let's take a look at Katie's tattoo. Katie had the Forbidden City. This is a perfect example of getting a really tough idea and executing it really well. Her new school approach is really cute. I love how twisty and turny the street is. The color is bright, it's vibrant, it's really well saturated. Overall, in terms of artistry, her creativity really, really shined in this challenge. Bob, you're next. You had Neuschwanstein Castle. The way it comes down and just starts to become realism is really creative. I think you could have even warped it a little bit more to make it seem like it was like twisting and growing because it does seem a little bit tippy. It does. You're looking at skyscrapers and you're on the floor and you're looking up at it, it almost feels like they're falling down on you. Yeah. I mean, I feel like if there was a princess in that tower, she'd fall right out. Pawn. You chose the little white house in Quebec. Right at the end of that roof, how it flips up almost like a book. I think that's really neat. The only thing that I question is the light blue on the waves and the light blue on the wall are very similar. I would have just loved to see more contrast there. DJ. You had the Statue of Liberty. It's a unique approach to an iconic landmark. Your artwork is badass. I love the open skin, like how the skin shows through and breathes. And I do like that you took Liberty and put the torch down. I think that's super cool. Thank you, guys. Anthony. You had the Acropolis of Athens. That's a hard tattoo with all these straight pillars going up and down. Especially going on the ribs, I really wanted to take something rigid and really try to create some type of movement and flow. Time really, it got away from me. I just wish it was a little bit more readable in the clouds. I feel like there might be a cover up in there with the darkness of it. I do like the line weight in the tattoos, like as far as like the thickness and thinness of the lines. This is your nightmare. The good parts are good, the bad parts are bad. Gian, you had the Sphinx Pyramid of Giza. The black and gray realism side is where I have a little trouble. If you were to pull back on the line work, it would read more 3D. It's just missed opportunities of really showing us different sides of yourself, because I feel like you attempted this whole tattoo as a strong neo-traditional artist. Oh my god. Angel. You had Machu Picchu. I thought you were <laughs> Your challenge was an entire city. 
that black and gray section, it looks like a grainy old photograph. And then we get to the new school part of it. You are not a new school artist, but this tattoo would make me believe otherwise. <laughs> You actually created some atmospheric perspective, like distance between the llama and the back mountains. And I think that makes a powerful, realistic piece. Thank you, thank you. Killed it. Creepy Jason. You had the Golden Gate Bridge. The way you transitioned the bridge and it slowly starts developing color was really cool. You're running really strong in this competition. And this is like three tattoos in a row. You've made good choices. That's the plan. Thank you very much, guys. Tony. You had Chichen Itza. Man, I'm surprised the line work is really good, because I saw you sweating. Dude, I had to dip and rip. Like, there was no hesitation. It was fight or flight. It does look like you couldn't come up with a better idea of how to bring the realism in and how to separate it. Survival mode, let me just do a good tattoo here. Yes. And hopefully I hit enough. You didn't quit. I refused to quit. That's kind of the, the best thing you did. Thank you. Steve. You had the Degoye windmill. I'm still having a hard time figuring out which one is the realistic side. It's kind of caught in between, where it's like half a illustration, half realistic. I think that's where I went wrong. I tried to blend it too much. I thought of every piece as half new school, half realism. Totally. If you just don't see it, that's the problem. This was not your day today, and it shows. It should be. Judges, it's time to determine who had the best tattoo of the day. I feel like every single part of Angel's tattoo is my favorite part. Yeah. There's not a single area I could look at that doesn't make me feel like this woman has got some skills. This one met the challenge at 100%. You nailed the challenge, and you did a beautiful tattoo. I agree that Angel has the best tattoo of the day. The judges have decided the best tattoo of the day goes to Angel. Thank you. Congratulations, Angel. You are safe from elimination. This week, you were being tested on artistry. Based on your work, one of you will be packing your machines. My vote is for Steve to go home. When I look at Anthony's tattoo, there's readability in it. You know, with Steve's, it's not new school and it's not realism, and it almost completely missed the mark for me. My vote is for Steve to go home. My vote is for Steve to go home. My vote is also for Steve to go home. The judges have decided, Steve, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. Please pack your machines and close shop. All right, guys, I'm out. Damn it, man, I was just starting to like him. <laughs>